Hello everyone, you're welcome to Muto Online. This is teacher Alan. This time I'm taking you through a practical session. For today, we are here purposely to go through a biology practical item. We are here to simplify it, but as we do it, don't cram, get the concept. We are going to start by bringing to the board whoever has not covered this, uh, this part of, of the biology. Um, and also to clarify more for those who covered it. Uh, remember we said we always give expensive um, resourceful information almost for free. For today, I want us to get the practical as well. We are going to get to use a number of items and this item is going to be this, the first one. Before we unveil the item, I want us to go through a brief introduction to this practical part. A practical of new curriculum um, comprises of a scenario below which there is a guideline and a number of tasks that are given in order. The tasks given are calling for a certain response. That is going to address uh, the problem stated in the scenario. At the end of this video, we shall realize that biology was made the simplest. A response is expected to comprise, I mean, to be given in order where a learner is expected to fulfill the competencies that include one, a learner is expected to be able to give an aim as the first competence. This aim is expected to give the purpose or the main objective of the investigation. Um, this aim will always be scored as the first competence, and they will score it as P1. It must be in line. It must be the reason to why you're carrying out um, this investigation. So it must clearly show the objective or the purpose of the investigation. Um, two, competence two, Elana is expected to give an hypothesis of which we say an hypothesis is simply a prediction of the outcome, a prediction a theoretical statement that is yet to be proven practically. And it will be scored as P02. A correct hypothesis should also include the key terms in the scenario. What is the topic or the objective of the investigation? Which materials 
are talked about in the scenario, they must be clearly stated in the scenario. I mean, in the hypothesis. And the hypothesis should also possess a logical flow, but predicting the outcome. A learner is also expected to give the variables correctly. And these variables, we say, there will be those measurable quantities in the experiment. We shall have quantities that will be kept constant, and those quantities will be called the controlled variables. We expect a good description of each variable in line with the scenario. We expect the variables we expect to vary or to change such that we get results. And these variables will be known as the independent variables. Independent variables. And the ones that we shall take, the reasons to why we are carrying out an investigation, or the results of the investigation, we shall call them the dependent variables. And once Elana gives good descriptions of these variables as expected by the examiner, we will be scored a P3 if it is correct. And then in this stage, we have another competence which is the requirements the requirements of the investigation the requirements we very well know that we have the apparatus that will not be part of the product and then the materials the materials are the ones that will be part of the product for me my learners always make a table when stating them when giving the apparatus a learner is expected to state the number of the apparatus he or she is to use and this learner should make sure that these materials or the apparatus stated will be clearly indicated with their use in the procedures. And if a learner gives relevant apparatus, will be given a P4. All of these competencies in the response in the first stage, they are taken to be the planning stage of an investigation. That's why we score them as P. A learner is also expected to give um, my, the procedures the procedures are the steps that will be taken when using these requirements to carry out this investigation. As they are scoring these procedures, they will expect a learner to give relevant procedures. They look for the relevance part of it. You are now carrying out the, the investigation. You are done with the planning. You are carrying out the investigation. So this relevance means that the procedures you're giving are really addressing the problem 
will you really solve the problem stated in the scenario when you, when you put them in practice? So they will score you a C1 if really the, scenario, the, the whatever the, the procedures are relevant. So for planning, you get a score of four or P4 if you fulfill all these ones we stated up there. This is the total, the total score for the planning stage. Then um, a proceed, the procedures are expected to be reflecting the collect uses. of the materials or apparatus. So the apparatus you stated above should collectively be reflected in the procedures with their use. For example, using a measuring cylinder, 10 cubic centimeters of the other solution are transferred into, let's say, a beaker. You are using a right apparatus to do the collect purpose in the experiment. Not using a thermometer to determine time. So you'll, you'll be given a C2 for writing the correct uses of the material stated. In the procedures still, they will look at the coherency And do we have any logical flow of the, pro, of, of the steps stated? When someone reads them, do they give any sense that someone gets any sense out of them? And lastly, under this, so this one, they will still score you a C3 for that. Uh, so you're getting this competence. And the last one is um, the actually say. The actually say of the procedures. The actually of the procedures are only determined if the variables are correctly reflected in the scenario, I mean, in the procedures, the variables you stated above must also be clearly represented in the procedures. And if you do so, you will get a C4 for the step of procedures. So then you will achieve a total of score of four if all these ones are fulfilled. So this, this, this step is basic and very important for the practical sessions we are going for. So we need, we need this. I know many of you covered this, but we have to remind ourselves. Um, the next part of a response, you are expected to give the results. You've started the procedures. You have put them into practice. Now you are representing the data 